Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to the Realm of Fries podcast episode number. What number are we on? Number 20 for whenever the fuck I can just be bothered to release it, maybe in another two weeks' time. <laughs> I am your host, as always, Five Large Fries, and joining me today is Mr. Flatline Place. Well, hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. And Inferno would be here, but he has uh, some stuff that he needs to take care of today. So we we're giving him the li- the little the little pass today. We will honour his wishes. Yes, yes. Uh, so it's been a while. Yeah, man, it's been a while. We've been a few weeks, haven't we? It's, it's got a lot to talk about, mate. So, yeah, so let's talk about the the, the delay of the show because that's clearly the most important thing, right? Not like of the course, actual I news. Mean... <laughs> Exactly, mate. There's new games coming out. There's all sorts, and to be honest, the main news is that the show has not aired for a couple of weeks. Yeah, exactly. So the first week that we didn't air, I think I wasn't very well. I think I think I I felt ill. If I if memory serves, I had like a really horrible like stomach bug, and uh, it was like to the point where, putting it politely, I was having to leave my chair nearly every five minutes it was not good it was not good um yeah so we didn't do it that week and then i think last week we were gonna do it and i just did i just didn't sleep at all and i was just like okay now nah, i just need to look after myself here and i was like right fuck it i'm just sleeping so i slept your sleep schedule mate at the moment has been a bit up and down and that it? yeah it's been absolute fucked absolute fucked just like my internet has been absolute fucked as well so there's a good chance like at the point like some point during this podcast like the quality might dip with um flat mic because you know my internet's garbage it, or i might just get disconnected and have to talk to myself until like it connects again or uh, you could be playing a game of halo with him you know kicking ass and i know where you look around behind you and he's disappeared and turned into a bot i mean yep. that happens as well yep that that happened that happened when you were streaming and it was it was not fun that <laughs> night <laughs> <laughs> kick an ass then look around behind me and you just got t- teleported into a bot's fucking body and mate, realized you were gone mate that night it disconnected me a further two times i was not happy i was not Probably. happy uh but yeah uh so let's let's talk about some cool stuff that that that's not negative because you know there's some cool shit that's act- oh we're gonna go into negative stuff anyway we, of course know. we are yeah. i mean we're we're, we're, we're we're older generation we're jaded people we always go into negative stuff i mean we're to be british fair, damn it <laughs> yeah i mean i think us british we kind of crave disappointment you know exactly. it's not the weather we kind of crave it everybody moans about it but man would it be wrong if it was different we're british we love a good moan we also love a bottle of water all of water, a cup of tea and biscuits, fish and chips. Fish we and love chips. it. Oh we man, the greasy fish and chip places. Oh man, I don't even. I don't even go fish and chips nowadays. I literally greasy. like. It's so greasy, man. Like unless you get a really good fish and chip shop, but most of them. Mm. Oh, oh, I've been recommended a few recently. I've been like, oh, I haven't ever gone there. I've heard good things about it for years. Go there, and it's like a Mate. cesspool of grease, man. Mate, other people are you, like it's lovely, and I'm like, no, it's fucking not, man. Mate, if you want chips, go to a Chinese. Somehow they manage yes. to just smash them like every yeah, they time. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give you that, mate. My missus, she loves Chinese. I don't really do that much Chinese stuff, but mate, but I always order some chips and a bit, you know, a little curry or whatever. Or here's the curry, thing, but... like the yeah. like a curry sauce or like the uh not not it's not like curry yeah. sauce it's like the um uh da, 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 bar- it's like barbecue sauce i think i don't know yeah, it's, it's it's the sauces that they do like sweet and sour sauce oh mate that slays me every time slays me it slays me mate that i'm done i'm done but That's it. here's some here's something i don't i mean, I mean this this all like confuse the shit out of you but it's also confused the shit out of the americans they don't do chips or fries should we call them from uh, like the americans at chinese places like you can't order a side of fries like when you go to a chinese that doesn't surprise me it sounds like it's just adapted to fit the english and british menu you know i mean screw it free chips in there because they're bland and they love chips but i'll tell you what they're not wrong i mean they're not wrong like chips are amazing like fries are amazing and i think 
the the nice thing and again just a little bit of british bias here i mean we're allowed to do that from time to time but i i think like the fact that we don't add like chemicals to our foods we like there's a lot of uh a lot more stricter regulations when it comes to like foods and additives and all that kind of stuff compared to like the americans who literally put plastics in their food like it's crazy like and not like not like literal plastic it's not going to be like you know the plastic like a plastic bottle type plastic, you're not going to end up like a kinder egg toy inside your bloody milk chocolate yeah not I, that kind of plastic i know what you mean little fibers and stuff but like yeah. yeah the food regulations over here are pretty strict i mean definitely could be stricter but they are pretty strict i mean like the americans they put like uh additives in their food that are known carcinogens and stuff and it's just like well, why i mean sure it probably tastes good but like damn but then <laughs> yeah screw that but like i don't know i don't know I feel, I feel like the less like chemicals you add to food the better it tastes right am uh, i am i just i, I mean I... yeah no it depends on the food as a, like an ex chef I, you know i love salt I love salt. It's not good for you, but I love it. And I use a lot of it in my cooking. Like, and, uh, yeah, it's not good for you, but man, is it good. And that's it. Mate, I love salt so much that I drink seawater. A lot of top chefs, though, mate, you watch them, how much they use salt. You know, mate, not saying yeah. I'm anything like a top chef at all, but, you know, I mean, the, the amount of salt, if you actually watch them. Well, the salt brings out the flavour in foods, though, right? Yeah, it can draw out the moisture from the inside as well. Mm. That's why, that's why, like, oh, mate, mate, I could talk about fries all fucking day, I tell you. Like, like, I'm just, such, I'm just so fucking sexy and tasty. Like, goddamn. Five large. Yeah, exactly. Did I ever tell, oh, did I ever tell the story about how I got the name Five Large Fries? Have I ever? I think so. I, uh, Not on the podcast, at least. Okay, so, like. Like, fun fact, so the reason why I got it, it comes from a bit of an inside joke, in a way. Um, and so, basically what happens is, to try and cut a story, sh like, a long story shorter, um, about, like, 2014, I wanted to change my, my username, because I, I was using my real name and then 360, I kind of wanted to shy away a little bit from using my real name and, you know, having 360 as the end, like, of the handle. So I'm like, okay, well, what can I, what can I pick? What can I pick? And I'm, I'm thinking, I want something that like rolls off the tongue, is easy to remember, easy to say and pronounce, and has meaning towards me as a person without giving like too much away in terms of like personal information. And I remembered back to when we went to uh, Eurogamer, like the convention. I think they call it EGX now. Um, me and a couple of IRL friends, um, you know that. We all went, and, and my brother as well. And they're very accommodating because, like, for those that don't know, I, I, I do have an eating disorder where the only foods I can eat, and I'll use the American terms for the Americans watching, but it would be fries, chips, candy, ice cream, and within, like, the whole... Oh, and cereal. And within, like, the whole, like, candy type of thing, I, I'm, we're talking, like, you know, your, your muffins, the, the chocolate cake type stuff, right? Um, so sweets we we call them sweets you know you call them candy it is what it is um but that's literally it. everything else either makes me throw up or gag like it's a weird oh, thing i'll ask you quickly cereal with milk or without milk oh with milk with oh, milk good, good, good. you're not you're not a complete sadist then yeah no exactly not yet anyway <laughs> carry on oh uh, no i mean if you really want to be a sadist you put water right oh man i like seriously even thinking about that just made my toes cruel just like oh, oh. Oh. oh, but yeah. So as as a joke, um, it, not as a joke, but for the, my friends, sorry, they were really com accommodating, really like amazing friends, and they would basically take a bullet for me at this point by like there's so many like there were so many different like restaurants and takeaways around like uh, the convention center, right? But because I only eat fries, they they basically every day we were there. We're getting like McDonald's. I mean, sure, there was a Greg's and they went to Greg's like in the morning, and I don't really eat much, so that was you know. But like when it came to like the main meal, we were just going to McDonald's every time. And when I, I think, if memory serves, I think when we first got there, I had like one large fries because I wasn't really hungry, but I needed something to keep me going. And then the next day, I was a little bit hungrier, so I, I had two. And then the joke <laughs> came in. The joke came in because we were there for about like five days. 
and the joke came in saying like oh you're gonna keep adding every day so tomorrow will be three tomorrow next day will be four and then ending up with five right and i'm like yeah yeah i'll do that and then like on the third day i i did three because i was genuinely really fucking hungry um and then obviously f- f- fourth day comes around i didn't actually do it i genuinely forgot and i just went with three because hungry and fat bastard so when it came to the fifth day, I was like, no, I've got to commit to the joke. I've got to commit oh, to well, it. Oh, yeah, you've got to commit to it. Oh, you've got to, mate. Even if you don't eat them all. You yeah. know what I mean? You can hand them out to someone, something. I don't so, know. So what I ended up doing, because nobody, like, people enjoy, like, cold fries. But when you when you have a McDonald's fries, when they're cold, they're not as enjoyable as the warmer, like the just out of the oven type of, like, just out of fry. Like, they, they feel soggy and wet when they're cold. They've got mm. no rigid, rigidity. Rig, I can't even speak. They're floppy. That's yeah, what I'm gonna say. And um, so, what I decided to do is, I decided to go up and get my three because after, like, you get through the second patch, the third one started to get like that sort of like mildly warm, sort of bearing edging close to being cold. Yeah. So, like, you know, I went through the third, the third one, and immediately I got up and got another two. Came back and I started polishing those off as well. And I kid you not, like. I made sure to eat every single fry there, right? But uh, I I did end up having to uh, return them back to McDonald's. <laughs> so you ate five, you ate five large fries, but I, some of it had to go back to the company in other ways. Yeah, in in other yeah, ways. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you cl- clicked on for the if people didn't click onto what I'm hinting to. I threw up. I threw. Up. <laughs> I I was sat there. I was like ho- trying to hold it in as much as I can. You, you know when you feel it, but you're like holding it back as much as you can. Are you getting the potato sweats? I was getting potato sweats. I was. Oh actually, man. Yeah. It's like it's like alcohol poisoning. Mate, it was. It potato was sweats. Ins- it was insane. Like I'm just there, like oh fuck, and I'm like sipping. Probably not the best thing to do. I think it was either Coke or like a chocolate milkshake. I can't remember which one. I think it was a chocolate milkshake. I'm like sipping on it, trying to like force whatever I felt was coming up to go back down. In the end, I'm like nah, nah, nah. And I like burst through. Didn't work. Fuck, yeah, I just like burst through their fucking like toilet doors. And first cubicle I found, just smashed it open. I wonder if they're watching you. That's the guy that ordered five large fries. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> there he goes. There, there goes. he goes. I've got to ask you, mate. I suppose, like, maybe not of yourself, but I'm a, you know, I'm a bit of a weird one. Go on. I will dip McDonald's chips into yes. a McFlurry. Yes. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Like, Excellent. I think I think it's like the unwritten law. If you have a McFlurry and you have fries, you have to. Even a milkshake, like dipping it in the milkshake is quite nice. Yeah, it's quite cool. But the, the op- ultimate, though, is the McFlurry and it with mm. chips. And my missus thinks I'm really, really weird. But I'll, like, yeah, nah. I'll just gan it that down. A couple of chips, dunk, smash. Nah, chips, there's, dunk, there's smash. something about the combination of, like, uh, the sweet and savory. It just, yeah. like, it, it hits. It's it's kind of like, um, uh, like, getting, like, crisps and, like, chocolate spread and combining those. I don't that know I've ever, never tried. Have you generally? Okay, your best thing you get get like a pot of like salt and vinegar or ready salted uh, Pringles, and then get yourself a pot of either like Nutella or like again we're not sponsored by any of these brands, but like a pot of like Nutella or like any type of chocolate spread and just it's dip away. Below. Just dip away, man. It is so good. Just dip away. Cool. Well, I'll, I'll have a go at some point. I'll let you know. Um, probably be a week or so, but I'll, I'll give a go, mate. I mean, granted, it's like really fucking bad for you. So, like, don't don't take that as like dietary advice. But like, goddamn, it's so good. To be fair, anyone that's listening to this podcast should not be taking us for dietary advice. I mean, you know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit on, you know, I'm a bit weird on my food, and uh, fries obviously is not the uh, most normal on food either. So, well, yeah, yeah. Well, our diets probably aren't great, mate. Multivitamin tablets for the win. Oh, speaking of which, I got some. Um, uh, is it Buzzits? I think they uh, some. I can't remember. It's, it's a brand that they're over there, hidden behind like my fucking consoles. I can't bother to go get it. But there's uh like chewy vitamin, multivitamin gummies. Yeah, they're so fucking nice. It's like a cherry pomegranate type of taste to it. Is more oh, they're good. They're nice. Good. 
it's what i look forward to i I haven't like when i get in from work because like you know i let that shit like go through me when i'm asleep Uh, maybe 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 i should do it when i'm awake but like i don't i don't don't know know. i'd do it in the morning i assume when you first wake up because then it powers you for the day yeah that's also what i'm thinking maybe that's why i'm so fucked with my sleep you know <laughs> you keep taking multivitamins in your sleep, your body's like buzzing. Yeah, my body's like buzzing. It's like Ooh. not getting proper sleep. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, just a high on fucking vitamins. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But um, anyway, we weren't. We're not here to talk about like food. We're not here to talk about like my eating disorder or me because I'm I'm not that much of an egotistical fuck. Oh. We're here to talk about some cool shit. So, so. Let's let's get the one thing out of the way. So, obviously, I I usually talk about Final Fantasy. I haven't played the game in like maybe a month or two because uh, I'm mainly waiting for the the new expansion, which got delayed. Which I would have brought up in the episode that we first missed, but obviously, you know, got ill, and you know you got to look after yourself first and foremost. Uh so yeah, the. Endwalker has been delayed to, I think it's like the 7th of December, with an early access of the 3rd of December, um, which... What's the, how do you get early access? I think you just pre-order like the collector's edition, or you pre-order the game. I can't remember which one it is. All I know is I have the early access, so I'm, I'm good. Okay. I'm, I'm Gucci, so to speak. Um, yeah, so that was... I mean understandable if if they feel like they need to like you know have more time then you know you've got to give it to them like it's a shame it was a late delay but he was very they were very apologetic and you know it was heartfelt their their stream was heartfelt when they said so you know i don't really keep up with final fantasy because online because i don't really i don't play it but you know watching a bit of the interview and that fair play to them look like they actually cared yeah yeah exactly like like he he genuinely got really upset that he had to delay the game and i'm just like yeah god damn he 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 has a lot of passion like yeah yoshi p they call him in in the community he he has or yoshi yoshi one of the two however you like to pronounce it but uh yeah he has a lot of passion for that game and it, it shows with the way he delivers everything you know what i mean yeah for sure i mean he's definitely um genuine yeah yeah exactly exactly um but yeah uh then some other stuff happened um so there was the battlefield you could get like the early access that was last week i think that was which would have been the episode that we would have aired for the week that you know the previous week and last week yeah yeah and we would have talked to living daylights about that but yeah yeah that podcast didn't happen so i guess i guess flat if you want to start off a little bit here with uh, uh your well, Go on. battlefield is a dear series to me an absolute dear series i played it since the first one battlefield you know 1942 and we all played it with pcs back then land up loads of bots having a laugh and stuff now i was really looking forward to this one um by my words already you can kind of tell that i'm not as enthralled by it as i was hoping um i'll go out on a limb I'll, I'll quickly say actually there is fixable things the game's good it's got a core that could be good but things need to change for me to enjoy it how i want to now i don't know if it's just me being old and just not enjoying the changes that they're making but some of them feel unintuitive to battlefield um something like the specialist classes they do make sense in some game modes and they also do make sense if there was enough of them and if there was Say, for example, 128 players on the field and you've got six, seven specialists to choose, right? I know there's skins for specialists, but that means that's the same for both sides. So normally when you're playing Battlefield, you're like the Allies versus the Axis or blah, 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 you know what I mean? So the enemy looked different. On this, they all look the same. And the, also the weird thing is back in the day on Battlefield, you'd look at a medic and know that he hasn't got an anti-tank, you know what I mean? Things like that. Now... It doesn't matter what class you are or what specialist. You can have any weapons you want. And, I mean, it does open it up, but it also makes it... For a seasoned Battlefield player, it also makes it weird. It makes it very weird. And there's also some weird stuff going on. Like, the the, the vehicles are very much dominating the Battlefield at the moment, which is weird considering everything has anti-tank. 
Um, hovercrafts, ridiculous. Like they, they have the ability to fly up skyscrapers, which is what? just baffling. Have you not seen the no. so, <laughs> so in a couple of levels of skyscrapers, you can go up the top on the lifts if you're on foot, blah, blah, you know, jump off, blah, blah, blah. There's points up there to capture. The hovercraft can slam against the side of the glass, right? Right. And just drive up. Dum, 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 well, like dum, 90, dum. Just, 90, yeah, 90 degrees, degrees up, no. the ground, up the glass, mate. It just goes all the way from the bottom of the skyscraper to the top and then lands on top and gets in the gunner and <laughs> starts blitzing, you know what I mean? Like, oh, my God. It's just, it is just unfathomable. Like, there's some moments in the game where I'm like, this is brilliant. You know, there's 128 players, 64 on each side running at each other and then you just get into it and you're like oh my god there's just snipers everywhere there is snipers everywhere and like the gameplay itself some of it's really good but i don't know if it's some of its server lag as well or rubber banding i've heard but sometimes your hit registration's really weird and there's also other weird things like like the, the the weapon mods they're not making any difference or they're making it worse when they said they should make it better and stuff and it's just baffling things like that just baffling no no scoreboard no servers no server list you can't can't take more than four guys with you to each battle because it kicks you out in between you know what i mean you can't party up more than four i think it's like wow. what what That's... what this is a you're telling me that i've got a 128 player game and i can't play with more than three of my other friends what what that that makes no sense at all you... You can see that, like, uh, you can see that it means a lot to me, the battlefield. I'm sorry to rant, but it's just like, oh my God, I don't really get the design choices. It's, it seems like it's all shooed into this one mode called Hazard Zone or something. I'm probably getting it wrong. I always get that name wrong, but it's, it's like half, um, half, I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to do this an injustice by blanking it under a certain thing, but it's, it's half Battle Royale, half uh, Tarkov. Like, you kind of go in, extract these cores, get out, and then you earn coins for the next game you'd play. But, um, like, it's, it's got 32 players and AI on the map. But that with that mode there, the specialist makes sense because they all bounce off each other. One can see through walls, you know, ping. Other ones can put down turrets and stuff. Then it makes sense. But in Battlefield, like the main conquest modes, it just, to me, it doesn't make sense at the moment. Yeah. There's my, there's my ran over, sorry. But I've had, yeah, another thing I'll say is I've had 10 hour trial and I've put in four hours of it. So, mm, yeah, I'm, so you know. I'm kind of annoyed at myself. So I, I figured that I would play Battlefield quite a fair amount before like the actual official release. So I'm like, OK, well, I'll buy the gold version because, like, you know, that's the only way that you get it unless you use the, the, the thing. But I figured I'd put in more than 10 hours and I don't think I have. I think I've put in a lot less um and then i'm getting to a point like the 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 final day for it to actually like be officially released is like getting closer and closer and i haven't really put much time in it and it i'm released, just, mate. yeah like and then it really obviously it's released now so like i bought the gold edition for no fucking reason like <laughs> i mean sure like cool like later on when we do finally go back to playing it like um uh, and you'll see why in a minute like with the next topic but you know, when we do finally go back to playing it, like, you know, I, at least I've got the season pass thing, so any DLC I'll, I can, uh, you know, I'll have, but, like, right now it's just, like, it's fun, it has its own, like, uh, play style, and I like that, I and I, I like the fact that, um, you know, it, it, for me, it feels very much like Battlefield, I mean, sure, there, there's, there's glitches, there's gripes, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, say that they get a free pass on that, so to speak, because, you know, it's a triple A company that, you know, they, they pay, you know, they pump, pump in like millions of dollars, millions of pounds to like get it working, like to, you know, um, and then to have it released as a bit of a, not, I wouldn't say it's a bit big mess as far as I've played. Like I've, I've, but like there's certain things that could have been done better. I think a lot of people are complaining that there's only like four different ARs versus like previous games, which have had like multiple. Um, but I mean, it, for what it is, I I think it's I think it's all right. I mean, there's no there's no single player story to it, which I was surprised about, but not too surprised because let's be real, who plays like these shooters nowadays for the story, especially Battlefield and um, Call of Duty. Like, I mean, fuck, fuck Call of Duty, by the way. 
Um, just mm-hmm. saying. I mean, that that's another another fucking subject um, that we'll go into. Um, yeah, I mean, with Battlefield as well, I don't mean to take away from anyone's enjoyment. If anyone is really enjoying it, then fair play. I've got a few mates um, that play it, you know, and they're really enjoying it. And I'm like, fair play, man. I just... I. I will give oh. it another shake. Of course, I love the series, but I I kind of want a few things fixed, and I, it's not easy yeah. to even to point out what those things are. Now, uh, like I said, at moments, mate, there's, there's moments of brilliance in that game where I'm really enjoying it, but there's a lot of moments where I'm like, "What am I doing?" Oh, <laughs> you know I feel what I mean? You on that. I feel you on that. Like, um, I mean, I've certainly had moments where it's like amazing, but like a lot of the times, like it's very it's very much a m- more slow paced game, and sometimes you just want something a little bit more fast paced, and that's fine. Like Battlefield is more designed for that style of play anyway, and that style of player. So it, you know, I'm not saying that I don't enjoy it because I do enjoy it. Like you know, I have moments where I enjoy playing very tactfully, and then I have moments where I just want to get in people's faces and just like fuck shit up. Um, which is why segueing over Halo. I was going to ask you this. The next thing I was going to ask, as you yeah. brought it up. So, how many hours have you put into Battlefield, and how many hours have you put into Halo? Um, it might be a bit biased because I know you're a Halo fan, but it's definitely a ninety, like a ten ninety split in terms of like, like out of a hundred. So it's and not in terms of hours. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which one have you actually put money into? It doesn't I really. Mean, I mean, I've put money into Halo anyway. Let's be real, but still. Yeah, season pass and armor yeah. and all that. You and your gooby armor and weapons. Mate, mate shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, but um, Halo, like, so surprise, surprise, they actually did a massive thing for the 20th anniversary of Halo, which was on the 15th, and that was launching the multiplayer for Halo Infinite, which surprised everyone, pretty much. Like, I think there was some leaks going about on uh, online, where like people had found that there was the multiplayer was going to launch on the 15th, but people, like, sort of started like batting that away and swaying that away, saying, oh, well, anyone with Inspect Element can do that. You know what I mean? And it's true. It's true, because it did look very Inspect Element-y. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I saw those couple of things coming out saying it might be, but I didn't really believe it. It Was, on the, was it the 20th anniversary of Xbox as well, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. I think yeah. so. And they showed The Rock coming on stage when he did it with Bill Gates and all that, and then they brought him back, you know, like, it was quite funny. I ne- I gotta be honest. I never watched the 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 thing. Like, I was... it's only half an hour. Yeah. It's not. It's not amazing, but it's. I mean, if you got a half an hour spare and you just you know chilling, yeah, might as well. Maybe after this uh, recording, we'll do that. But um, but yeah. So on the fifteenth, they launched uh, the Halo Infinite. Uh, it's they're calling it a beta, but it's actually the full release of uh, the the multiplayer side of the game, and it's phenomenal but not without some niggling things and the niggling things funnily enough aren't like bugs or anything like game gameplay i mean there's a little gameplay thing with the wasps but we'll get into that in a little bit um but like overall it feels smooth it runs smooth it's generally a really fun experience to play and all my fears and i knew this would happen when i when i get my hands on it but all my fears that I had, I've aired like in previous episodes, where I think that it wasn't going to be good and that it might end up being a death of Halo, are completely gone. Completely gone. Uh, obviously, never know. You don't know what's going to happen with the campaign, but if the multiplayer is any sign of what's to come for the campaign, then yeah, definitely, definitely, no worries there. But um, no, have you seen that the previews for the campaign are coming out now? People have managed to get like. The first few missions they've been sent them. Oh, okay. Um, positive so far, really positive. I mean, there's a couple of things saying the open world's a little bit quiet, but it's you know really positive so far. Apparently, the sandbox is just amazing. Oh, I can't wait to play it, man! I can't wait. Shame um, there's no co-op yet. Well, yeah, true. And apparently, that's that might have even been pushed back even further from. Like I, I read it. I read somewhere online. Like you know, I just you know, you search Halo Infinite in Google, and then whole bunch of stuff comes up and then there's one article where it says oh the the, the forge and co-op are probably going to get delayed even further into 2022 so yeah Hopefully forge doesn't i mean forge is like a huge fucking thing like it's so huge like that will keep that game going even longer forge will and 
to be honest, I think I don't think uh, the multiplayer is going to die by any means. Like I, I think it's still going to be because it's free to play. So like you can't like turn around to someone and be like, oh yeah, you're going to play Halo with me. It's like oh I can't, I can't afford it. It's like nah, it's free, mate. It's like all right, fuck yeah. That's like, happened a lot. A lot of the PC guys I play with are like, like you want to jump on Halo? They're like, oh, you got you've got Halo of you, like, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. And another person's like, you do realize it's free, and they're like, what, what, oh, what? It's on Steam. Like what? I'm like yeah, download it, man, and then just get on it. You know, yeah. they don't realize it's free. Yeah, exactly. It's a AAA game that's big, like, free, like you know what I mean. Oh, I personally wasn't expecting it when they first said that multiplayer was going to be free, but I genuinely think that's a really smart move. I was worried that the the monetization for the the multiplayer would be very predatory, and unfortunately, it seems like those worries were confirmed with this beta, um, which is a bit of a shame. So, let, let's talk about that real quick. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Uh, so, in in the store, in the, in in the store, there's you have the battle pass. Now, the battle pass is a, an issue unto itself, not because it it's like predatory or anything because it's not because the way they're pl planning on doing the battle pass is similar to how they did it in the master chief collection except you have the the paid for side of it and you have the the free side of the battle pass but there's no fomo there's no no sense of like oh well i have to complete this this season if i don't complete it then i'm not going to get the, the final rewards i think i'm pretty sure you can still level it up once season two comes out and stuff so you know is uh, quote quote me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure i'm right there you can yeah you can yeah. go back to any season and carry it on yeah um but the leveling up of the season pass is just goddamn awful so they have challenges the only way you can level up the season pass is through challenges right now they have a daily challenge which is a continuous thing it refreshes and even the weekly challenges they refresh once you've completed them so you can keep doing them that way so you think okay it's not that bad it's not that bad but like a lot of the weekly challenges where you're going to get the big bulk of your XP from to level up your, your battle pass are for some ridiculous things. So it'd be like uh, grapple grapple and and board an enemy three times. Now, if you're playing the 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 quick big match, battle. if you're playing big team battle, you, you're more than likely going to get that at some point. Right. But if you play in the mode that I like to play, which is the 4v4, the only time you're going to get that is on one specific map, which is uh, I can't remember the map name, but it's a, a sandy type map. And you have vehicles that spawn on there. And it's only I've only ever seen that map come up for either capture the flag or just regular Slayer. So you're only really going to have vehicles there. So it's going to be very rare to get that. And not only that, sure, the vehicles will be there and you have that chance to. But you also need to find the equipment to actually grapple, which is really fucking annoying, especially if someone else has already picked it up and died somewhere and you don't know where that person is. Like... It makes those types of challenges really hard to do. Then you have other ones where it's like, oh, I think it's like, like get kills with the Wraith and the Scorpion. I've not seen any of those in the time of playing Big Team Battle with you. Like, I've seen Scorpion if a couple of one once or twice, and the Wraith went past us. Remember last night? I was like, oh my god, and you. I yeah, the Wraith literally just went past me and just kind of rinsed me. Uh, yeah, but I've never seen them. Like other than that one time, I it's you know you never never really see it, and it's just like. So you got to be lucky enough to even get into it and lucky enough to even get kills and not get taken out yourself. Because, I mean, I'm yeah, playing... that's... some of those challenges are ridiculous at the moment. They need yeah. to look at that for sure. But like, it's OK. You can you can you can refresh those challenges, but it will cost you money. <laughs> and I think I, I worked it out when I was making a video. Quote me if I'm wrong. Going through English pounds, it's for 500 of the Spartan credits that they use. It's, I think it was like three pounds something, right? And in order to buy a, and the, it comes in a bundle. So you get a, a challenge swap and you get a XP, like double XP, like uh, boost. And I think that lasts for an hour. They changed it from half hour to an hour. But um, yeah, so you get those and that costs 200 uh, Spartan credits. So in order to swap a challenge, it technically costs you, I think it worked out to be about pound thirty something, um, which is crazy if you think about it. Are you halving the money it costs like for the XP and the... So like, the bundle comes with XP and comes with the challenge 
Oh no, it's half just, in the money. Or... No, it's just half in like pretty much what it would uh, be for two hundred points out of the five hundred. Oh yeah, fair play. Yeah, it's it's expensive, isn't it? it? It is expensive. But what really pisses me off a little bit is is and I think a lot of people have voiced the this concern as well is the customization uh, of your Spartan is locked to certain like cores and stuff. So like like certain armors are locked to a certain type of like uh armor core um colors and stuff like you can't like say change the color of your, your shoulder pads your chest plate you know like you could in like the master chief collection with the uh, halo 3 and stuff you, you know it's lacking a lot of that like uh personality and i think i think that i, I would expect that will come in later because i can't imagine they'd make it without you know but there's been pictures online where some of the bots are using different like like pieces of armor from different cores and you know and people are like why can't we fucking do this right and even on halo waypoint you're able to do it and change like the different cores like you know the the esports skins that you're able to have like different things on there whereas like if you try to do it in game it's like oh no you have to have like this exact set which I think is really annoying. But where things really piss me off, though, is with the monetization of, like, uh, different we uh, armor, like, customizations. So they're, they're selling... I can't remember the name of the bundle, but basically it's a... It's like a knife that attaches to, like, the arm... Like, the chest piece, and you get one that attaches to, like, the side of your, your hip type of thing, or the side of your leg um that's literally it you get like an emblem but like it's barely visible on like weapons and stuff you know it's it's it, it that the emblem doesn't look that great but like that entire bundle costs a uh, thousand spartan credits which a thousand spartan credits is about eight pounds or it's like seven pounds 19 or something which is like ridiculous for just like a little tiny little blade to be attached to your chest piece and hip that you you won't even see when you're playing you'll probably see it when you die like multiple times like myself but like when you're playing, the only people that really see that is like the enemy, or like you see it when you're in the lobby. Like that's pretty much it. And I yeah, think, yeah, I mean, some of those uh, unless unless it's season pass, I don't think any of it's worth it. No, I've not seen anything in that store so far where I've gone, I fucking need that. Well, that's I, a good price. Or like, I've yeah, seen things that would be like, oh, that's nice, but that's not a good price. You yeah, know? That's, yeah, like. There's, there's been the, the shop has been very disappointing the the battle pass see there's really cool stuff in the battle pass by the way like i really want to un unlock the odst helmet because you know if if you've seen any of my previous like commissioned artwork that i've had done for like you know my channel and stuff there's a you know a commissioned art piece of like me with fries in the hair holding an odst like helmet wearing like odst armor you know that. like you know i've got like you know odsts are amazing and i, I want to have an od you know i want my spartan to have an odst helmet but can't do that until i get to level 65 in the battle pass so i'll see you in 2023 yeah at the moment the battle pass i, I, I do hope they change it to xp because challenge based it's just weird so it's just weird so here's the thing that ticks me off with the the battle pass is and again here's the here's the nice thing about this by the way and it could take a negative and turn it into a positive if the only negative thing we're talking about is like the monetization of like certain like like armor pieces that don't really matter much anyway there's you know it's not a pay to win thing um and the fact that the the battle pass like leveling the battle pass is a pain in the ass but like there's no complaints about the gameplay that's good right that's good yeah there's right? no complaints about the gameplay from my side it's just yeah, I mean, I mean, it can be a bit vicious if you're up against a proper squad of four that are really doing well, but that's just proof that there's um, depth to the gameplay. And I mean, yeah. the thing I like about it is, I've explained to a few people, there's, with the time to kill feels just about right. Like, mm. there's just enough time to get hit by an enemy and turn it around with your gadgets or your weapons somehow. If you're on the ball enough, you can turn around a fight. Um don't get me wrong, I do like a quick time to kill, but something like COD or something, you're getting shot, you're done. You know what I mean? If you don't see them when you're getting shot first, you're done, pretty much. But in in Halo, if you're quick enough, you can turn that shit around. I do like that the, the assault rifle, which is the main weapon you spawn with in Big Team Battle and in um, uh, the quick play, 
uh, I I like how that feels. I like how you can take that as a medium medium to close range weapon versus like in previous games. Like you would just be throwing that thing away like straight away because it was just yeah. it was just it's not. Only... Go on. Close range, you'd always use someone else would use. You'd have to use it close range back in the day, wouldn't you? And someone would mm. always have a bloody shotgun, so it's just useless. Yeah, the the assault rifle back in the day was like it was just a useless weapon. Whereas in this one, it actually feels like it has purpose. Like you can laser people down with this gun, like from from like like say midway across the map and i i think that's good i think that's a good change i like it and it it just feels good to use the ar it really does the pistol's still really punchy i like it mm, i love the you pistol know, a good round good burst of headshots on someone you soon take them down with that pistol yeah exactly exactly um but i i, I love the gameplay i just think like the the leveling and here's the other thing so if you're if you're not able to get any of the challenges done because like some of them are like play three slayer matches which you think okay that's fine i'll just play slayer but it's like okay well slayer's locked behind like the quick play it's locked behind like a rotation you can't just go into a slayer playlist then you're not gonna really get that so effectively if the only challenge you're able to do is the complete one game challenge which is the one that everyone's gonna complete like through every you know you, you get the idea then you're only getting 50 XP like per game, right? Now, some of the level it the level in it with the battle pass, it takes you a uh, thousand XP to level up to the next level. So you take that 50, like you complete a game, right? Say a game takes you on average 10 minutes to complete. You get in like to complete one level, you gotta do 20 matches, which works out, I think was that like 200 minutes? Yeah, yeah. I mean that's ouch, isn't it? Really ouch. I mean that's not counting the time you're in between games as well. You know, you're sat in there waiting for a server to, you know, joining mm -hmm. a server or something. Because um, a lot of these games nowadays, I do find it slightly odd, but it makes sense at the same time that you know it never goes on to the next game. Never, you know, you finish a game, it never really, you never really have a countdown for the next game. You've got to join the server again yourself. But a lot of games do this nowadays. Yeah, and. Uh... Yeah, just to work that out, that's like 3.333 recurring like um, hours. So it's three and a half hours basically to get one level if you're only getting that one daily challenge done. Which I, mean, I think that's is... That's not to say if later levels are going to be more XP. Exactly. I mean, I'm currently at what? I'm currently like 30 going into 31 and that's like how much XP it needs to get to the next level. Uh, I I I hope that they just keep it as a thousand XP per like one, but you know, is what it is. Is what it is. Uh, I think besides the like you say, besides the monetization ch and changes that they need to do, the the year in the oven definitely made a difference. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, uh, you can tell the changes. You can tell the changes as well from like the the previous uh the invites that they did. You know the tech previews or whatever they call them, the insider flights. Yeah. Like, the difference between playing it on there and the difference playing, like, the, the live version is literally night and day. Like, it feels so much better. The audio feels amazing. The game feels amazing. It's just fucking brilliant. That's one thing to mention, actually, the audio in it. Um, You know, harkening back to Battlefield. Audio on Battlefield's always been amazing, but this audio on this Battlefield hasn't got me yet. Like, there's... I don't know if it's so much going on or if it's just I'm not getting the audio cues I should at points, but you, you turn on Halo, you know what's going on around you. You you just know by the audio and the, the movement and it just feels fluid. It works. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But um, yeah, Halo. Oh, man, man. Halo's back. Halo's back. And in fairness, they, they have said that they are working on um, the the progression for the Battle Pass and it's kind of similar to how I think it was Black Ops 4 when that came out. Again, fuck Call of Duty. Um, <laughs> no, um, like, with all things said and done, people worked genuinely really hard on that. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's the the reason I say these things, just, just to, to throw, throw the reasoning out there for those that are unaware, that, that it's all the stuff that's come out with the, the Activision Blizzard scandals, 
uh, with the way they've treated like staff and stuff is ridiculous which we may as well go into now have you heard the the whole thing about the bobby kotick thing now i haven't i've seen quick articles about it something about him actually knowing more than what he was making out yes so he, he knew more he knew more than um that was there was meeting you know yeah I'm getting I'm getting flustered now because I'm I'm trying to like do several things at once here. Um <laughs> basically um they wow that's that's insane. I'm just looking at a uh, a headline from Eurogamer. Um and it said Activision Blizzard's zero tor- tolerance policy on harassment won't apply to uh Bobby Kotick. That's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. I mean I don't know how the thing is at the moment we're only getting snippets and it's hard to speculate fully until it all goes through. But there's definitely something dodgy going on, you know. It's just a workplace culture, you know. It, mm. I don't understand just because it's games. What are they like, kids? Like not every. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blanketing every developer under the same brush here. You know, there's a lot of professional ones out there, and a lot of these people that work for Activision are very professional. But it seems like some that are higher up just aren't. There was um uh, there was a thing again. I don't know how true this is. Is it? I mean, with everything going on with that company. Um, let me see if I can find it on Google. Um, there's apparently okay. Here we go. Here's BBC. I just get um get a thing. Uh, apparently that he had uh, been long aware of the harassment allegations and there was apparently a moment where 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 is it where is it uh it's also alleged a senior figure of one of the publisher's studios was accused of sexual harassment and an intent Internal investigation launch. Mr. Kotick intervened to keep him. Um, but Ouch. yeah, there's also uh, there was also something about him threatening to kill someone or something. But I don't know how true that is. Um, yeah, that that's quite extreme. I'm actually gonna. No, I was, I was just. I was just looking to see if that's I pretty find damn it. extreme. That I mean, it's extreme. probably going to take a good year or so before we're really going to find out, you know, yeah. what was done, what was said in court, and here we go. What's Biz- come out properly from Business Insider? Um, Activision CEO Bobby Kotick threatened to have his former assistant killed. Like, wow, that's ridiculous. Wow, that's Jesus ridiculous. And, yeah, uh, there's been apparently a lot of um, a lot of like walkouts from. Uh, workers of Activision Blizzard, um, basically demanding like Bobby Kotick to like resign. Um, even shareholders have like asked for him to like resign. But the problem is, is like the the board of directors, um, you know, the the Activision Blizzard board is apparently completely full of like Bobby Kotick's friends. So they're not gonna vote to like fucking have him resign or anything they're not gonna say like oh yeah you need to resign because you know rich the rich looking after the rich that doesn't happen does it no no of course not no. No. Yeah, i've never heard of that and you know they're, they're always uh they're always out for you to look after you because you're you're no, number one the, the, the employee the guy. yeah 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 after yeah. the little man looking exactly after you. the one that does all the hard work to make them the millions that they have we're not, no. yeah, we're not just going to take advantage of you and use uh, this is use your I, workload. This is what I don't understand. Like, I mean, like, I, I get it. Like, they, you know, these, these these millionaires and whatnot, they've grafted to get into that position. That's, like, I completely respect the grind to get there, right? Yeah. Like, and in fairness, in fairness as well, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not defending, like, by the way, this isn't me defending, like, fucking scumbags like this, but, um, I'm I'm talking in general about like rich people and people like who are CEOs like like that is in fairness you gotta give it to them it is it is a very hard job to do to manage a company and make sure that it's on the right tracks you know there's so many there's a lot of stress 
there's i mean i would assume i mean chances are it's probably like fucking piss taking you just hand that down to someone else to fucking deal with right but you know you would have thought that you know if you you're the ceo of a company you you got all these people working their asses off day and night to make the company like millions and millions of dollars you would think you would go oh hey actually you know these guys are working their ass off let's let's do something for them you know let's let's like you know increase their wages let's make sure that they're having like positive experiences at work and not you know getting sexually harassed and abused and like having the point you know getting like your nudes what, sent around what's, type of what's thing. the weird what's the weird thing is it's like you say most of those have done the grind well not all of them but some of them have done the grind they've worked hard they've been from a you know developer all the way up to where they are now so why don't they remember and look back down and say you know i remember what that was like let's help them out a bit no i'm just going to keep taking more and more money you know what i mean like what you were yeah. there you were there why don't you help someone out like make a make a better fucking package to help them along you know give them a bit of time off i mean even if we we as gamers now I mean, after the cyberpunk debacle, we know that games need to be delayed if they need to be delayed. Just do it. No one cares. I mean, people might go, oh, I can't get my game for a while, but no one actually is going to, like, go off the handle at it. It's better to wait for a decent product and then have something that's crap come out early. We're seeing that time and time again. And, you know, the problem with nowadays is that they're, they're patched. Problems, you know, games are patched to be fixed and... Games are shipped on a certain time to hit investor, you know what I mean, investor numbers. And it's just companies need to take a step back and go, hang on, if we, we need to release a decent product. I hope after, you know, Halo, after Cyberpunk and that, you know, people are actually going to realize that giving it a break is actually going to help. Yeah. 12 months off for Halo made such a difference. But instead these these fucking like ceos they're like oh i want my bonus i want my bonus i want 27 million bonus i want fucking 38 million bonus send it out now it's even though it's, it's not ready more money than they're ever gonna spend i understand like it's nice to sort out your family don't get me wrong you know what i mean i'd love to leave a little bit behind for those future on and that but they're not gonna need that much it'll get I mean... to a point I'm pretty I, sure I would not be like that I'm actually 100 percent sure I would not be like I'm that I'd only need what I need I ain't been funny. Money fucking changes people. Now we say that now, but if you're, I kid you not, if you were in this man's like, not not Bobby Kotek because this guy's a fucking cuck, right? I suppose say. So. Um, but he's um, like if you were in a situation where they said, okay, we're gonna give you like twenty seven million bonus for whatever, right? You'd be like, oh hell yeah, give me that fucking bonus. Like I think I think everybody would. Like, I mean, it's already down on contracts and stuff, isn't it? If they hit, yeah. they still get that bonus, all this, that, and the other. But I mean, they I, could just say, like, I've got, I've got enough. I'll, maybe I'll take ten million. We'll put ten million into the buildings to make it nicer and all the staff rooms and shit. So here's 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 where I would be in that position, right? So if this is a company that I founded, if it was a, a company that I I founded, I was there from the start, or like you know. Like I, I put in a lot of time and an effort and it, it grew to like a, a very large scale where it's like, okay, damn, this company's making a lot of money. Then yeah, sure. I would probably be like, okay, well, you know, whatever is what it is. But I think, I think, um, no, okay. No, I'm, I'm re okay. I, I haven't slept. Let me reword this because <laughs> I, I've gotten it. I've gotten this backwards. What I meant to say is, if it's a company that I founded from the ground up and it was my baby, then I would go out of my way to look after the people that were doing the the quote unquote grunt work, so to speak. Yeah. Right? I would make sure that everything about their work life was perfect, like as to the point. Could be. Yeah. To the point where it's not a case of oh, I gotta go to work. It's a oh shit, I'm going to work. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, I'll make sure that they, you know, the healthcare was taken care of. I'll make sure that, you know, that all the, you know, that their wages were like higher than what is expected of that job. So if say like that job, say if the job was like, you know, you get paid 10 pounds an hour for it, like anywhere else, I'd be like, oh, fuck it. I'll give you 15. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'll give you nine. <laughs> you fucking bastard. <laughs> you would. <laughs> 
Get in the basement, make me some games. <laughs> but like, if 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 the you know, but if it was like a a company where it's like, okay, well, I've I've come in, I've 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 not like been there for its inception. I've not founded to it. I'm not like bound like emotionally to it, like so to speak. Just a cold hearted, yeah, yeah, cold hearted business businessman. Like if it was like a. It's like, oh yeah, well you you've been known to make like good decisions. Like here, we're gonna make you the CEO. It's like, okay, cool. Um, n- not that that's definitely not how companies work, clearly. But you see what I mean. If it gets gets to that point, then it's like, okay, well, I, you know, if they give me like these bonuses, then sure, like I'll I'll take the bonuses. Like fuck yeah. Yeah, I suppose it depends on what kind of view you're taking. If you're taking a proper businessman view and you're being ruthless, then yeah, for sure. But I suppose that's how they got there. You know, mm. a lot of people don't... Like you say, there's got to be some... There's some developers out there that turned into good CEOs, but a lot of them are just really quite ruthless. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. Talking about other games quickly, this before we completely forget, mate, what came out, Forza Horizon 5, man. I mean, I know you haven't played it, but mm. what a game. I mean, that came out... Yeah. A while back now, <laughs> a while back, but oh, what sorry. a game, man! What a game, graphics-wise, gameplay. I'll, I'll be real. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of racing games. Gen- no, no, fair enough. I mean, a lot. I'm not really but, a huge fan of racing games, but her, the Horizon series is more arcadey, and I like that. I'm not a fan of like the the actual forces, where it's like you got to fine tune everything. You got to make sure like. You know the fucking bearings are right, and all this kind of technical mumbo jumbo. And I'm just like, I, I don't want to deal with that. Just give me a car and let me race it. You know yeah, what I mean? So Force is more like your racing simulator, and Horizon is more your arcade racing. You know? Yeah. Um, and Forza is the one I prefer for sure. It's just pick up and play. You can have a laugh with it. Um, get a load of people in, do some races together. Don't turn off collision because you know you're all about bumping your mates, aren't you? Yeah, I'll give you a good old rear end. Oh. Ooh. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> but yeah, Forza, Forza have been rated really high. I suggest anyone give that a go if you don't mind. Want a quick racing game just to mess around with arcade The world's yeah. um huge. It's nice to be in Mexico and all that. I'm, I'm still waiting. Still waiting for them to do one in Japan. I'm, I'm hoping 6 will be. Because right. Forza Horizon 6 won't be cross-gen. It'll just be PC and, you know, new gen. You um, you said you're still waiting. You're like, oh yeah, it's nice to be in Mexico. It's like, oh, I'm still waiting. And then I, and I was gonna interrupt you and be like, for a plane ticket to get out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the, oh, that, fair play. That by the way, that wasn't a a, a stab at like <laughs> Mexico as a country. Like Mexico is a beautiful country. The joke is that he's been there for too long and he hasn't got a return ticket. That that's what I was implying. Yeah. That's what I was yeah. implying. I wasn't implying that Mexico is a shithole. It's not a shithole. It's be- beautiful country. What I'm is a shit from Mexico? What is a shithole is the UK. The UK is a fucking shithole. Let's be real. Let's be real. As a country, it's a fucking shithole. Nice places, every, like scattered here and there, but like the majority of places bit of a shit hole i mean it's just it it feels a bit built up in places you know you've got the new forest and you've got other bits that are quite nice but some areas you know people look at england and they see that that cottage on the field and they think oh it's lovely you know and then it's not really like that i mean it is in some places but you gotta pay a lot of money for that you know and i suspect that's the same in most countries Oh, mate, just... what, what you got over here is you got people going, Oh, mate, can I jump the queue for my bottle of water? And you're like, Yeah, all right. Oh, calm, mate, calm. Calm. <laughs> calm, mate, calm. calm. I am calm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. People people are butchering the language over here. Absolutely butchering it. But that's just me getting old. Mate, you know, you know what is uh, crazy? Do you know what peng means? Peng, P E N G, peng. It means good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like you were yeah. looking peng today. Yeah, that's just, that sounds like the deterioration of the human race right there. Mate, I don't know what a fucking peng is. I thought they were like, I thought they were trying to like put something in me. I thought they were going to shank me. Peng. You want some peng? peng? Mate, I don't know what. You're looking peng. Wait, like, what? Oh, I'm like. Wait, what? 
Peng? What, you mean like pungent? You saying I'm looking I'm... smelly? Yeah. Honestly, it baffles me. I don't know where it's come from. I don't get it. But then again, I think people were saying that back in the day when people said radical and stuff. But at least they're actually words, you know. Radical and all that, you know. Yeah, these are like some back made up day. bullshit. This it, is like... It actually made up words. I spoke of... about this before, though. Like, um, when you... You know, back in the day, when I said, like, when someone said to me, like, I've got a bare amount in my cupboards, that means I've got nothing, right? Oh, sorry, mate, I'm bare. I ain't got anything. But nowadays, when someone says, oh, I've got a bare amount, meaning I've got loads. Like, yeah. What? what? Yeah. It's like, oh, mate, I've got bare stacks. Yeah, like, what do you mean? What do you mean? You've got none? Because that's what that means to me. Mate, I'm holding bags, mate. I'm holding bags. Bags? <laughs> What, under your eyes? Eight Gs, my son. Eight Gs. Eight Gs? What? I don't, don't know Negative what force? I don't know what it means. <laughs> like, I probably even butchered uh, that. But, but yeah, if I can... Here, have some bags, mate. I think, I think it's like the equivalent oh of like a grand. So it's like... It's like each bag is like a grand, I think. So it's like, oh, mate, there's like eight bags. It's like, that's eight grand. That's 8,000 pounds. It's like, okay, mate. It's like, oh, mate, this watch I'm wearing is like eight Gs, eight bags. It's like all this, all, all this new speak. I don't get it. I'm completely lost. Mate. I'll have a laugh with it, though. Fucking, some of it is fucking hilarious. That's my job next week is to come up with, think of, find out these words that people are saying that aren't part of the actual dictionary. Yo, should we do and that? And analyze for... them. Should we do that for the next podcast? Like when we, when we get Inferno in, we'll um we'll get like a like you get like a bunch of words, and me and Infer- Inferno have got to guess like what that word means. I think me, I think me and yeah, yeah, I'll do it, mate. If I can't find enough, I'll get you to enlist with me, and we can both do it to Inferno. Yes, yes, I'm down. For Roger that. that. We'll see how that goes. I'm I'm up for that. I, I want to see how many he gets wrong. You know, you know what? I want I want to do like a little competition thing. Um, but you gotta be really careful with like giveaways and stuff. Like uh, the the rules on it are like really fucking like tax rules are really weird. Tax yeah. rules are really. It's like when I did my um give my um first charity stream and that. That's why you use Tilfordy and websites like that because they do all the tax. You know what I mean? Like mm. otherwise, like no way. Like I've seen people doing like charity streams and it goes straight through to them and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna pay it later. And I'm like, bollocks, are you? Nah, bollocks they don't. are you? They you know don't. what I mean? Like, and that means if if they pay as well, they've got they've got to work out the tax. You know what I mean? Like, if they're doing it properly, but yeah. no, probably Pro- not. They're doing it properly. Properly, mate. Properly. They're doing it properly. I am bro- brokered today. <laughs> brokered. You're talking about people butchering the language, and there's me not even be able to pronounce a syllable. Oh, mate, that reminds me. Have you ever seen the uh, the video from Anomaly that went viral years and years and years ago? We got like a, a trade offer for for something in CS:GO, and it was like really butchered like English. No, it's like hello, I'm forty eight year man from Somalia. Sorry for my bad England. <laughs> I, it's like I sell it my wife for internet connection. <laughs> he just starts laughing. I'll sell my to... wife for internet I'll, connection. I'll, I'll send you the video after this because if if I get it up, he'll probably play on the the, the thing. But that's the gist yeah. of it, and he just like laughs for ages, and then he reads the rest out. But yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Such a classic fucking video from him. So good. I think he did that on the stream. But yeah, yeah. I want to see it. I'll, I'll I'll send it to you. In fact, saying that, saying that, what is the time? How long have we been going for, boys? I say boys. Inferno's not even here. It's just boy, boy, boy. I mean, cool. Is he like like a Treas? Boy, 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 boy. Get hit, get hit, boy. Mate, does that like really hurt your throat when you do it? Boy, no. no. Nah. When I, when I try and do like the the like the real sort of like low DP like boy. Boy. boy, it like it like boy. run it like grates the back of my throat. So, boy, I've always had a raspy, weird voice though. So, kind of like it's all right. Boy, get here, mate. I sound like a. F- Apparently, I sound when I go into VR chat. People ask me one or two things. They say, "Am I from New Zealand or am I Australian?" And I'm like, "Do I look hey, like mate. I'm from one of those?" 
Good so, day, mate. Let me just throw a shrimp on the barbie and be a little bit racy. <laughs> and I'll come straight back to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. But yeah, um Yeah, I think I think we've covered pretty much all the big news, haven't we? I think that's gonna have fuck it, that, that's it, because I, I I kinda wanna jump to bed, I'm not gonna lie. Get some food. Fair play. I get think we've covered all the main news, mate, to be fair. We've got some bits some homework to do for next week. Let's get Inferno the best we can. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. He's gonna love it. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of realm of fries thank you all so much for listening uh, there's probably not going to be an outro because i'm too lazy at this point i can't even remember what i've done um but thank you so much uh we do have a discord obviously you can find that in the description down below if you're watching on youtube or if you're on like your podcast apps in the description of the sh episode should be a link to the discord um and ev everyone else's uh stuff so like flat streams and stuff uh but that's gonna be it for me so from me five large fries and goodbye and for me fat line plays stay safe look after yourselves and don't do anything i wouldn't do which doesn't leave you with well actually leaves you with quite a lot go for it hell yeah All right take care guys we'll see you next week possibly if i don't delay it again but you know Life happens sometimes. Wait. Boy, 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 boy. Boy.